as you can see here, the way this was wired up, we had a bunch of wires that goes to a lot of our lights and our fans um, and seat warmers. Everything was coming to this positive battery terminal. They did do a good job of using fuses, but the problem is, is there's still a small drain on the battery, and I just don't like the fact of not being able to use a disconnect to disconnect all power sources. So what we've done is we've ordered a a key disconnect switch, which I don't have laying here right now, um, but basically this is the key. And we're trying to find a place to mount it without having to make too many modifications to the buggy so right what we're going to do is we're going to try to make us a little aluminum box that probably goes from about right here to right here and comes out about this far we got to be careful because we don't want something hitting the bottom of our leg right here um so i've got some old scrap aluminum what i'm going to do is i want to measure it i measured it so we want about six inches from here we want about a two inch rise and then we want about an inch foot on each side to um, the bolt and then we'll come over here and we'll put a back piece on this and we'll have it like a little hat uh, probably three-quarter inch just to where we can get a sheet metal screw in here self-tapping screw here here and here um, or whatever we decide that that we want to make this safe and sturdy and not move around but we'll mount the key switch on the bottom of it and we're probably going to make it six inches you know six inches tall so if we want to put a couple more toggle switches right here we can now what we're going to do to run these wires we're going to have to re put different ends on them because they got really big ones we're going to take that off and put a cover over the positive end right there and we've got this little distribution bar which i got off amazon i'll i'll post a link to it um we'll go ahead and run these wires so this distribution block we'll run this this battery cable will go to one end of the disconnect and then we'll run this goes to the starter, so we'll run that and all these wires to one end of the disconnect, and then we'll run a, a, a we'll, we've got another wire here, we'll run that positive wire from there to our disconnect. And hopefully that will give us a way to where we can put a key in here, key switch off, so it makes it a little bit more difficult for somebody to mess around with, but more importantly, when we're storing it and we're not in it, we can just go ahead and disconnect all the battery power. Uh, from to make the box, we had a piece of aluminum it's about three inches i think it is a scrap that we had from an old radiator shroud and what we did is we took we know we we're going to do six inches uh amount on it we're going to rise two inches so that's six plus two plus two is uh, ten inches and then we're going to have three quarter inch on each for the feet so we're looking at about eleven and a half inches so we measured this out we measured a piece eleven and a half inches out we cut it on our saw um and then once we've got it done with our saw, we'll go ahead and mark all the pieces and go over here to our press break and we'll bend the, we'll bend the metal out. We went ahead, like we said, we measured out three quarter inch. All right, to bend our metal, like we said, we took a, a flat piece of metal, we cut it 11 and a half inches. We measured, we used the, the protective side, we used a magic marker. We marked off three quarter inch for the foot. We marked off two inches for the rise. Um, and we did that on both sides. We came in again three quarter inch then two inch and then basically that left us with our six inch And I'm not going to get the, you know, I went ahead and did it, did it because I'm assuming if you are going to tackle something like this and you got a break You know how to do this, but basically when you know we put it in there and, uh, On the marks and bend it and so this is what we came up with before we do any cutting or fitting We're going to come over here and we're going to mock this up and put it in here and basically we got our transmission shifter cable right there um, so we can push that up a little bit. It'll get up here out of the way. Um, we'll go ahead and put this in here. We'll, we can adjust it. We also got in here um, and set in the seat to make sure that this is not going to cause us an issue with our, our leg and everything seems to line up good. So then what we'll do next is we'll take our we'll take our our disconnect switch and we'll either mount it like this or like this somehow we'll probably mount it like this so we can put we've got enough places up here to put some more toggle switches at top we'll probably go ahead and, and put like a usb cable a charging cable um but we'll go ahead right here like this and we'll go ahead and mark take a magic marker and mark this out and then we'll go over here to our bridgeport machine and we will use it to make us a slot for this to go in there and 
and then we'll have a plate and then we'll be ready to go ahead and make us what we'll probably go ahead and also do we're going to leave the back open so it's easy to get into um, we're also going to go ahead and cut a piece right here to probably just protect the wires in here to keep anything from going in there I'm not that great of an aluminum welder so I may get some JB weld and just JB weld it um, but we will leave the back open and also like I said I'm going to use sheet metal screws and one of the things I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make it to where this wire right here will easily go over here to this disconnect and then have our wire that comes back over here all in close proximity so if we're down I have had some reviews where these switches go bad so if we're out on the trail what I want to do is my goal is is if say if the switch goes bad or I lose a key or something it's going to be as simple as possible to take you know a couple wrenches and get this off take this off take the uh, starter cable off here and put everything back on um, back on our uh, our battery post right here at least to get us back to the truck so we're not left stranded from a faulty switch or something like that and we probably go ahead and buy another one to have a spare then we make air around with this as well all right well next we'll get over here and we'll do all our markings and we'll show you how to notch a hole in it for the okay we've taken our disconnect switch and we've put it on here and all we need to do is make a couple of marks we have went ahead we've got our collet in here and we've got our a cutting bit we've got a three-quarter bit in here I think it's just a little bit we may have to be a little bit wider than three quarters inch but we'll go ahead and start it with three quarters once we get it marked and we cut mark to mark then we can go back try to fit this in there and then we can sh it's really easy to shave off you know a 16th 18th here I'm sorry 16th and 8th whatever we need to to get this to fit in there Working. All right, so we, we've got our slot created. Let's go ahead and turn that, turn that off. Get all this cleared out. It takes us out. As you can see, I went a little bit too far on the original cut, um, and I don't want to go out that far. So we're going to go back. I'm going to I'm going to take the. I'll try to fit this down in there so now we see we need to be just a little wider we need to be just a touch wider and we need to go just a little bit farther so we're going to go a little bit farther this way and maybe take off a little bit that way and then when we go back we'll take off a little bit of edge to make it just a little bit wider. So let's get everything lined up in here. It's really, really, really close. We need to knock just a skosh off. We probably should have went to the line and we would have been good, but we want to be a little bit more safe than sorry. So um, we'll go in here and we'll get to that line and I think we're going to be good to go. Okay, here we have our enclosure done. We've got our disconnect mounted. We went ahead and put a USB charger in the top as well. Put some money in the back. Here's going to be our cable to our battery. And then we're going to go ahead and hook our hots out to here. And we'll go ahead and run a negative from here to our distribution block and one from here to our negative. 
and that should be give us what we're looking for. Here we have our finished box that we created. We messed up a little bit right here with our milling, but that's okay. Um, we only use two self-tapping screws, one here, one on the bottom. We can easily get that out. Um, we put our key in here like so. And when we do, we get power, as you can see right there. We're probably going to put some kind of wire grommet or something around these wires, possibly. Clean it up a little bit. But we do have, now we don't have anything going to the battery post other than we have our alternator coming back in right here that charges and then we have our power going into our disconnect and then everything else comes off that and either goes out to the starter everything else the ignition switch or if they're accessories they come to this power distribution block so now when we turn this off there there's no drain on the battery and then this is the only wire well and the alternator about uh, wire right here that could possibly have any kind of issue um, that could cause it you know if there's a short or something we could easily nothing's going to happen now that we have this disconnect i hope you enjoyed it again if you like what you see we'll post links for this list below please use those click on those links if you want to purchase as again it helps us with these videos and it helps us with our racing Thank you, and we hope you enjoy.